In this tutorial we will discuss about high resolution laser spectroscopy let's discuss with introduction. High resolution laser spectroscopy are used to resolve the spectral lines that are not resolved by or cannot be distinguished by conventional spectrometers. Spectrometers have an inherent limit in their ability to resolve light of different wave number. The range over which a spectrometer cannot distinguish a different in wave number is called the spectral resolution of the spectrometers. Conventional spectrometers mostly used lamps as light source using this lamps as light source, the spectral resolution of the conventional spectrometers in the visible region of electromagnetic spectrum is about 0.03 per cm. As a result, a lamp-based spectrometers will be unable to distinguish two absorption bands that differs by 0.03 per cm. Laser generates monochromatic radiation, so for laser that emits visible light, the output beam can have spectral width as small as 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 5 per cm. Thus, by laser spectrometers lines that are closed spaced can also be resolved that are non-resolved by conventional spectrometers. Let's, we can take an example of the absorption spectrum of iodine monochloride ICL measured by conventional spectrometers. The displayed spectrum consists of two adsorption lines in the vicinity of 17,299 per cm. The separation between two absorption lines is approximately 0.2 per cm which is greater than 0.03 per cm which is a maximum range that can be resolved by conventional spectrometers. If spectrum is viewed by using a laser light instead of conventional lamp with a line width of similar to 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 per cm. It is found that each absorption band is found to be composed of a number of individual lines but such lines are out of range for conventional spectrometers. By using a still high resolution spectrometers, we get still better resolution. So clearly, new information can be obtained by using laser light sources instead of lamps. The lines in high resolution absorption spectrometers correspond to small change in energies of rotational states of iodine monochloride ICL that are caused by hyperfine interaction. This much for today, thanks for watching, bye bye, see you.